and welcome to another episode of After School Kids Lab. Every Wednesday we post a fun video of us doing a different activity. It could be a craft, a science experiment, a skill, or a game. This week we are going to be making faux or fake snow. There are two types of faux snow that we will be making today. Our first recipe for faux snow is actually from a product called Insta Snow. All you have to do with that is add water. So that's the other ingredient that you'll need other than the Insta Snow. Our second recipe is also easy to make. It only has two ingredients as well. The first ingredient is baking soda, and the second one is white hair conditioner. And it can be any brand. A few other things you might want while you're making your faux snow is containers of different kinds. You're gonna need at least a bowl and a, a nice container to put the snow in to play in is also preferable. You also want some measuring cups. Another thing that's really fun to add are different kinds of toys that you can play with in your faux snow. You may even have some play construction vehicles or even a snow plow that you can use in your faux snow. Or you might want to use things like cups and spoons and things like that to scoop your faux snow. Last of all, you could also add in some arctic animals that could roam around in the snow and those are fun to play with as well. So this is how you can make faux snow. The instructions for our Insta Snow tell us to fill the cap that came with it full of our Insta Snow and then we're going to put it inside of a cup. The next step is to fill the cup with a test tube full of water, which the test tube came with as well. Let's put it in there. Right? Go ahead. Oh. Oh. Faux <laughs> snow. Faux snow. So we can make some more uh, if we repeat this process. And we have an extra container that we're going to put our snow into. We transferred our Insta Snow into a larger container. Then we repeated the process until we ran out of Insta Snow. It was a lot of fun watching the tiny pebbly white pieces suddenly puff into a snow-like material. If you were wondering how this happens, it all has to do with science, of course. The scientific name for Insta Snow is sodium polycrylate. It is the same super absorbent polymer found in baby diapers. Insta Snow soaks up the water using the process of osmosis. A polymer, if you are wondering, is a long chain of molecules, and osmosis is the process that causes the water to pass from the outside to the inside of the polymer. Pretty neat, right? For the next recipe, the first thing we're going to do is add two and a half cups of baking soda. We have a pretty big box here, so this could get kind of messy. We'll see how successful we are. The next part of the recipe, we're gonna add a half a cup of the conditioner. This could also get a little messy. I forgot to mention, you also might want to have a spoon if you don't wanna dig your hands in right away to mix this. So I'm gonna use a spoon at first. Once you have your ingredients in the bowl, you're just gonna stir them up until they're all mixed. If you find out that your consistency is a little too wet or a little too dry, you can always add more conditioner or more baking soda. Once you've mixed your faux snow, you might want to put it in a different container so it's easier to play with. So we're going to put it in this big red one. We ended up making two batches of our baking soda and conditioner faux snow. The mixture of the dry baking soda and the wet conditioner makes a substance both soft and moldable, like a dough or clay. I should mention that both kinds of faux snow we made are non-hazardous. That being said, all after-school kids lab activities should be done with adult permission and supervision. In addition, faux snow is not to be eaten, and you should always be careful not to accidentally get it or any substance into your eyes. You may choose to keep your faux snow mixtures. The Insta Snow can actually be dehydrated or left out to dry, and you can use it again, which is very cool. 
The baking soda and conditioner faux snow can be kept in a plastic bag in the fridge for about five days, but then it should be thrown out. Baking soda and conditioner should be safe to wash down the sink, but Insta-Snow should not be put down any drains since it could clog them. Now it's time for me to ask you some questions. After all, this is After School Kids or Ask Lab. First of all, which faux snow did you like the best and why? My biggest helper enjoyed Insta-Snow the most because it was so much fun to watch it suddenly expand into what looked like real snow. Also, did you notice any differences between the different types of faux snow? For us, the Insta Snow was extremely fluffy, which made it great for scooping and pouring. This is where our play cups came in handy. This was also the best faux snow for sprinkling, like real falling snow. It was also easier to move and slide using our construction vehicles. However, the baking soda and conditioner snow was great for sculpting and shaping. My helpers could mold it using containers, kind of like when you make sandcastles. My helpers also enjoyed flattening this snow using construction vehicles and burying items inside the snow to uncover like hidden treasure. We also had fun making a tiny snowman together using a corn kernel nose and toothpick arms. Last of all, can you tell us about your experience with faux snow? We would love to receive a comment, photo, or video on our Facebook page. Also, if you liked this video, let us know by clicking the like button. We would love to hear from all of our After School Kids Lab viewers. Thanks for joining us for After School Kids Lab. We hope you enjoyed making faux snow. We are going to be off for the next two weeks for the holidays, but then we'll be back January 6th with another episode, and we're going to be making silly sock puppets. Until then, bye!